At Home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about router placement, where to put this bad boy and where not to put it. Let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, one of the most obvious places is actually right by a microwave. So a microwave is going to emit 2.4 gigahertz out of it and it's actually gonna kill the two point gigahertz in here, causing this thing to have to switch over to five gigahertz. Now, if you're like me and you've split your Wi-Fi, then this thing is going to be completely messed up because half your devices are on 2.4 and the rest are on five. So some of the house is gonna get messed up. So if you put this by the microwave, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay, another big thing is you need to know your walls. So if you have a wall that has metal in it or if you have a wall that is made out of concrete or some kind of tile or something, and you have this sitting on one side of it and the rest of the house needs Wi-Fi and it has to go through some kind of concrete or, or tile or whatever, you're gonna have major problems. So know the wall that this thing is being blocked by, that's gonna make a huge difference. So if you have something that's made out of metal or, or concrete or steel or anything like that, just put it into another spot in your house because that's gonna mess up everything. Okay, let's talk about multi-story houses. So you might have a basement, a main floor, and then a second floor up above. And you're probably wondering, where do I put this router on the three floors? Well, the best place to put it is actually in the middle. So you want it on the main floor so it can send Wi-Fi up and it can send Wi-Fi down. You do not want it to be in the basement because then the second floor and the third floor are gonna struggle to get the Wi-Fi from that sub-basement area. So definitely put it in the middle of your house on the middle floor. Okay, let's talk about where to put it in your house on the wall or on the floor. So you never wanna put this thing on the floor and you actually don't want it to be too high up on the wall. You want it to be right in the middle. So somewhere in the middle on a shelf is gonna actually be the best, but you actually want it to be more in the middle of your house as well. So this is actually the middle of my entire house right here. So I would actually want to put this router somewhere up on a wall over here somewhere, that would actually be the best spot for it. That way it can send out the Wi-Fi to the entire house the best. One thing you definitely want to avoid is putting it near a TV with a bunch of Wi-Fi sticks plugged into it and gaming consoles plugged into it. That's gonna actually cause problem for your router. So you do not want to set it on your entertainment center. That is a big oh no no. Another obvious thing you want to avoid is putting this on one side of your house. So if you have a plug that's only on one side of the house, you need to hunt for another one and plug in your coax somewhere else. You do not want this thing to be on one side. You kind of just think about it as this thing can send out Wi-Fi about 50 feet in a circumference. So if you put it on one side of your house, it's going to have to work really, really hard to get it to the other side. Whereas if you put it in the middle of your house, somewhere, then you're going to be able to get Wi-Fi to your entire house very, very easily. Another thing to avoid is don't put this by one of your heater vents. So if your heater vent is pointed down and it's blowing directly onto the router, it's going to overheat the router and cause so much problem. So do not put this thing by your heater vents. All right, there you go. That is the Xfinity router placement in your home. This is going to work for any router out there. You don't have to have an Xfinity router, whatever router you have. You just want to make sure you put it in the middle of your house and that will give you the best Wi-Fi for the entire house. So